even from a young age, I've wanted to do whatever the fuck I want when I want and not like have someone be like, Chris, you need to do this now, or Chris, this was a shit job. I want to be the one who tells me what to do. I'm Chris Roberts, and I am the owner and operator of Chris Roberts Fitness. So yeah, I concentrate on changing people's life, not just changing like a quick fix thing that will only last a month that people can't do sustainable. It's all about sustainability. The thing what most of my clients say is they can't believe that it's sort of this easy when they see the results, and that's the way it should be. I've always had this feeling that um, I didn't fit in with society and like the normal things. Like I wasn't very good at school because I hated being told what to do. All of my jobs, I pretty much got fired because I got bored and I just had a problem with authority. So I've always wanted to do something myself and I've had that drive. <laughs> Teachers did not like that. About a year ago, I actually just quit my job. No money, nothing. Um, save just my final salary. I was just like, shit, what am I good at? What could I, like if I, I needed money in the bank account right now, what can I make a business from? What value can I offer people? And so yeah, like eventually it clicked, sometimes a bit slow like that, and I was like, okay, cool, I'm gonna do that. So I just instantly, Facebook, you know, within a few weeks I already had like four clients. So, and that's all learning stuff that I learned through SSM and you know, through Tim's direction. You, know, you become part of like that mastermind and because of that you you sponge off of other people like you learn certain things like obviously su certain people are some, uh, better at one aspect and you're better at another aspect so you really like are able to just become really well-rounded as an entrepreneur through that now from that I'm I've traveled to like six countries in the last three months with people from that group and lived abroad with two of them for a month as well so yeah I've made some friends. <laughs> Imagine if you discovered magic or something like that and it's like nobody else knows about this magic thing and you go to talk to them about it and they're just going to be like, oh, wow, cool. Like they just don't get it. It's not, not a bad thing on their part. It's just you need other people that like know this kind of magical stuff and it's like can come together and like create even better awesome stuff. So, I mean, we're here in Hong Kong. Like two weeks ago, this wasn't even a plan. This was. Someone asked me, oh, do you want to go to Hong Kong? I said, fuck yeah, I want to go to Hong Kong. When are we going? Tomorrow. Cool, let's do it. You know, when would I have ever been able to do that? Information that people want, you can turn it into a business. Freedom to me is being able to do whatever I want, whenever I want. And that means being able to afford what I want to do, being able to go where I want to do, at any moment, at any point, anywhere. And just really having that freedom to do whatever you want. It's great helping people and that's what I want to continue to do and try and impact as many people as possible. So that's really like the goal now is just how far can I take it?